live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. Here live in Las Vegas for Dell EMC World 2017. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Keith Townsend. Eighth year of covering EMC World now, the first year of Dell EMC World 2017 as the combination comes together. Excited to have Caitlin Gordon, Director of Product Marketing for the high end of Dell EMC Storage. Also, Babson MBA, like myself. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for having me. We got the Babo MBAs on, which is two of us now. We're going to you know, sandwich Keith here with a little MBA action. Watch out. Congratulations, Babson's doing great. Great to see. Uh, and your husband goes there too, you said. Yeah, the du double <laughs> beaver house. So, Big update on the high end. High end, we heard from Marius and Dell, Michael himself, that the draw on the Dell side, the, where storage was big, they're pulling in a lot of Dell. Where Dell was big, the storage is coming in. So a lot the of- Magic is starting to happen. Synergies are coming together. The high end is driving a lot of that. What's the update? Give us a quick uh, uh, updates for the hard news here at the show. Yeah, so refreshes both Extreme IO and VMAX. Um, I think you guys have gotten a little bit of information on the Extreme IO side, so I'll start with the VMAX. On VMAX, we've got Brand new flagship VMAX, the VMAX 950F. Uh, so that is the, the brand new um, kind of high end on, on the VMAX side of things. Replaces both the 450 and the 850. So it's all about speed. 67, 67, 68% faster, 6.7 million IOPS, 30% uh, better response times uh, than the previous generation. Most interesting though, up to four times faster than the nearest competitor. So that's the fun stuff. Awesome, Extreme IO, what's the update on Extreme IO? So on the Extreme IO side, uh, X2, brand new next generation Extreme IO, new hardware, new software, so performance, efficiency, um, scalability, multi-dimensional scalability, scale up, scale out, uh, so a lot of improvements on the Extreme IO side as well. So what's that, what does that mean for customers? I mean, okay, speeds and feeds, I get that, got performance. Yep. What's the impact to customer? The, the great thing about the high-end portfolios, it's, it's really clean, kind of where it all fits. So VMAX, great for enterprise workloads, consolidation, mission critical apps, and then Extreme IO is great for those efficiency use cases. So think VDI, where you can get really great dedupe rates, overall 10 to one reduction in kind of VDI environments, or what we would call large-scale snapshots. So when you're not just making snapshots for protection, but you're making a lot of snapshots and you're doing something with them. Um, and we have both offerings now, both refreshed, which gives you really the best bang for your back, efficiency, performance, availability, no compromise. Kayla, give an example, a customer that's leveraging all that. Uh, you know, we have so many, a lot of um, healthcare customers, financial customers. Um, you heard uh, some of our customers on stage this, um, this time around. And I, I think um, one of our favorite charts that we have in some of our presentations here is one of, from one of our um, healthcare customers. They put in a VMAX all flash and their latency drops off so low you can barely even see it on the chart anymore. Um, uh, some of one of the other ones have calculated the doctor hours saved from putting in a, a VMAX all flash, 17 uh, doctor hours saved per, 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 uh, um, per week or, or something very remarkable, which is, and that's what matters in the end of the day, is kind of the customers and, and the impact they're having on those environments. So help us flesh out the difference between a high-end storage array, which honestly has been getting a little pounding of, you know what, it's all about scale out, x86 storage, right, server right, SAN, right. HCI, where's the value still in the high-end array? Yeah, I think a lot of it comes down to the things that maybe aren't all that sexy but are really, really important. Availability, um, the performance, not just raw performance, but the ability to have the performance to, to per support all your workloads on one array. The availability to support that. We're talking over six nines availability. And all the data services that you need. So protection, security, that's not going away. It's getting more and more important every day. We have a couple enhancements on that front. We're in introducing secure snapshots. You can create a snapshot and you can lock that down, set a retention period for it. External key managers. Um, also kind of the, the mobility, non-disruptive migration. All of this combined and none of it compromising each other. So you have the performance, you have the security, you have the efficiency all in, at the same time. A lot of the newer technologies are great in their own rights, but they don't have all of that maturity of data services that, that we have in some of the high-end arrays. So the EMC Elect Lab is right around the corner. And, you know, those guys love to tweet and talk about the latest <laughs> IOPS and the knobs that you can turn on these high-end arrays. 
but customers want to move away from the complexity of high-end arrays. Talk to us about the importance of CI, converged infrastructure, when it comes to getting time to value from these products. Yeah, and you said the exact right phrase right there, which is, A, I think it's really important that we always come out with their arrays, and if you want to buy the array, you can do that. And then generally about a quarter later, um, we'll stagger and offer it in the converged infrastructure. So both on the Extreme IO side and the VMAX side, they'll come in a, come in a VX block um, in the next quarter or two. Uh, and that's increasingly important because people do want that faster time to deployment and faster time to value. But at the same time, you have the choice. So you have the yep. option to go one way or the other. So I got to ask you, we've been watching the VMAX for years and Dave Vellante, who's not here, we'd speculate, man, the VMAX is vulnerable, VMAX is vulnerable. Pure storage took a lot of little, little nibbling at the, the breadcrumbs at the heels of VMAX. A lot of their revenue has come from some of the VMAX as it moved to all flash. You mentioned the all flash kind of yeah. had a tipping point. Yeah. Talk about the speed difference, because that's really the game changer. VMAX gets the all flash VMAX, you're talking about killer performance. How does that happen? <coughs> Yeah, and I think it's more than performance. I mean, all flash is, is certainly important, but it's it's important because it's more reliable. It's, it's better be rebuild times, and, and yes, you get the performance. Um, the other thing that's important to kind of think about in the all flash space is that there is a true segmentation between high-end arrays and mid-range arrays. You know, the mid-range arrays are, do not have multi-controller, all active controller architectures, um, and, and the, the high-end arrays truly do. If you kind of differentiate the marketplace, you can really start to delineate between kind of the, the high-end and the mid-range arrays, which is why we have a portfolio that we do, um, and why some of the competitors kind of try to play against us when maybe they, they're probably comparing against the wrong one. Well, what is, well, how should customers look at that? Because there's yeah. a lot of fun, as you know, in the storage industry. No, the I have not is, seen that. The fun is everywhere. In particular, That's part of the fun. Yeah, it's part of the fun, but talk, well, clarify, what should yeah. they know? I mean, give them the update. Yeah, well, I, think, I think the important thing to think about is that there's there's really two pieces of the, of the all-flash market. High-end arrays, high-end arrays have very clear d delineations of availability, multi-controller, the data services, the security, and the, and the performance, and I'm, I'm talking the, the big hero number performance so you can put all your workloads on there and you don't even worry about it. And then there's a, a different segment of the market that has great availability, has great performance, but it's, it's probably a dual controller architecture, maybe even active passive, uh, which is, is important for, for certain parts of the market, but it's different, it's a different than a high-end array. And I think it's really important that you consider that when you're looking at an all-flash array is, well, is it, is it a multi-controller architecture? Is that really going to, am I, getting all of the controllers I'm paying for, or am I paying for one that just sits there? Um, that's, it's an important thing to understand what the architecture is, and they each have their places in the market, uh, but they are different, uh, and it's part of, the, part of our portfolio strategy. So help us understand the difference between the two. Both are all flash arrays. Yeah. VMAX, I know what, it, what I get in the history of our VMAX. Sure. X2 is on its second generation. What's the difference? between the two, when, yeah. when, when does one fit first and stop? Probably one of the most important questions. <laughs> um, so you said one of the most important things on the VMAX side is the history. So I always talk about proven over decades, it went from spinning disk to hybrid to all flash, and by the way, the go forward strategy for VMAX, all flash all the time. Now already over 80% of net new sales for VMAX are all flash. So we're all in on all flash there. Um, and really, VMAX is the enterprise workload consolidator, mission critical apps. Um, really the kind of the uh, overall enterprise workloads is going to be majority of time VMAX. Uh, Extreme IO is really good uh, and that metadata centric architecture gives you great efficiency. The deduplication gets you great efficiency. So kind of really easy way to look at it. Things like VDI where you get great deduplication um, or ICDM or large scale snapshots is where Extreme IO fits. You know, we, we know from our current uh, Extreme IO install base that um, of all of the snapshots out there, more than half of them are writable. They're actually actively taking um, more than 40% of the IOs from a read and a write perspective. So the snapshots for Extreme IO are not protection copies. Less than half of them are protection copies. They are actively being used. So that's a great use case. And then any kind of highly compressible, dedupable workloads are great, like VDI. What's the big uh, reaction here at Dell EMC World this year? What's the hallway conversations that you've had, briefings with analysts and whatnot? I think that the thing that's been most fun for me, and this is both with colleagues and with press and with analysts, is that this is obviously our first year as Dell EMC World, and it feels only like everything's accelerated. Um, we are still what made EMC so great and innovating. I mean, the amount of news we had is, is just the sheer volume of news is certainly a proof point, but I think the energy is just really great. We have all of the greatness that all was always EMC, 
um, and you just add the Dell factor to it, and it's just been overall positive. And I think we've heard that from customers, press yeah. analysts, and, and coworkers even. And the results too, performance-wise, Michael was commenting, and Marius as well, on just the, the wins, the customer yeah. wins, both sides, the synergies. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's been great, and, and our customers really appreciate it, and, um, and they, you know, it's really nice whenever you have a conversation with a customer or a press or analyst, and the answer you give is like, that's what I wanted to hear, <laughs> you know? Kind of everyone feels, I think, settled. Uh, Caitlin, thanks for the insight yeah. on VMAX and Extreme IO, and, and uh, great to have you on. Babson graduate, director of product marketing at Dell EMC, um, here inside the Cube. Okay, breaking it down, Dell EMC, where I'm John Ford, Keith Townsend, more live coverage. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs>